special one he's saying on the social media mm. that I was involved in my father's death because mm. I'm after the inheritance. Yes, Lynn, don't get me wrong. I must say these girls or the mother shouldn't inherit the land, the ancestral land. No, that's not what I'm saying. Mm. What I'm trying to say is this. Please, I have a share in that land. I have a share. If you are such love birds and you are involved in politics, okay, and it's during inauguration, mm. you have a car. Why can't you put your husband in the same car? You go to the same inauguration with him. Why leave your husband to make himself coffee, tea in the morning and being, being attacked and butchered by, by, by the farm worker? Why did you make sure that I never went to school when my father was able to take me to school? All those are questions. All those are questions. Why are you now trying to create hatred? Because I'm sure these, these two girls, they are too young. There's someone behind them who are telling her, them what to do. Why would you try to create an animosity between me and them? They are my sisters. They are my blood. A very good morning to you and welcome to today's uh, special edition of Tales of Wanjiku. And as I always say, when you see me doing this intro when sitting, it's because we have a lot of issues to discuss. Huh? I'm sure yesterday you got to watch the story of Mr. Paul Njuguna and we are still saying justice for Paul Njuguna because that's what we believe in. Huh? Guys, uh, continue sharing this man's image. He was, uh, he is the man alleged to have taken this man's life. Huh? And I'm just asking you guys to continue till he's found. But when Emma, uh, uh, Mr. Paul's uh, daughter was talking, of course, you guys, you got to watch that. They are asking the brother not to take their property away, saying that that's the only thing they have. And he should also be content with what the dad uh, gave him. And as always, the more I continue working in this space, the more I continue in giving in, in believing that everyone has a right of reply I reached out uh, to the brother uh, Peter Kamau and he agreed to come and clear something and I'm here with him how are you I'm good salam you. Pena Kubalika. Yes. Uko salama. <laughs> Uko salama kabisa. you're good, huh? I'm good yeah thank you so much uh, for yeah. honoring uh, the inviter yes. to just come and clear some things yes. I would hate for that story to be one-sided okay. and I'm happy that you're here yeah. so before we go any further if you could first introduce yourself Okay, uh, how are you viewers? Yes. My name is Peter Kamau Njogona. Mm -hmm. I live in Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah. I'm an accountant by profession. Yeah. I'm also a certified fraud examiner. Mm -hmm. And also, I also deal with independent review of financials. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I'm also a community leader back yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. And also, I'm a music promoter. Mm -hmm. I'm well known for Mogidi promotion in yes. South Africa. Okay. And most people know me as PK. Yeah. So I'm well known in the music fraternity in terms of Mogidi, as the young, the young upcoming musicians. Yes. Yeah, so that's as PK. Me. Yes, PK. And uh, once again, uh, yeah. Peter, yeah. condolences. Thank uh, you so much. I, this man here, yes. who is looks exactly yes. like you. Yes. Well, what I know, you guys, you've not had an easy uh, path yes. together. Yeah. And I know parts of you would ask him few questions if Very he was true. still here. Yes. But I always say, no one deserves to pass on yes. the way he passed yeah. on so yeah. my condolences yes. but even as you look at him right now yeah. what do you what like, uh, the bitterness aside yeah. what do you most miss about him um i miss there's a lot of i miss about my dad mm. more so when when i was young uh, that's back from 1990 yeah. to around 1999 mm. those were my best moments in my life yeah. and actually you i was the only kid with a BMX mountain yeah. bike yeah. in the village, the whole of the village. So I we shared very close moment with my dad yeah. until 1999 when mm -hmm. things fell apart. Mm -hmm. And um, they started slowly, but surely they fell apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has, I, I have been on a, on a path of reconciliation with my father. Yeah. And no one deserved to die the way my dad died. He was butchered. It was a painful death. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, he was killed in a manner that is dis disgraceful yes. and nobody should go through what my dad uh, died, yes. how my dad died. Mm. Because he was killed around 7.38 as yeah. per the uh, CCTV. Mm -hmm. His, and the blood was oozing his whole body. Mm. 
Actually, the, the, he laid there until five when the police were able to finalize the forensic in, mm. uh, whatever mm -hmm. and take the body to the mortuary. Yeah. So the villagers were there watching his body. So you can imagine since morning, we are talking almost 10 hours mm. lying on the floor. Mm -hmm. And actually it's also very, very personal to me because uh, the, where he died, that was my room and my sister's room, oh. which they, were, they had converted to, a, to, to be a kitchen because mm. that was our old house. Mm. So he died in our room. So it's, it's a painful thing. Yeah. Uh, and nobody deserved to, to die the way he died. How are you? How are you feeling? How are you coping? Uh, there are a lot of questions that are there and I've tried to cope with the situation. Uh, for me, uh, I would say in a way my dad has not been in my life for a very long time and I've tried to reach to him. He was not uh, willing. He, he had reservations. Uh, there are underlying issues we know, everyone knows in the village, mm. the, the family members know. Yeah. My, my relationship with my dad was not that, uh, there wasn't that relationship. Mm. And at times I believe it's because he had another family and also this was hugely contributed by the other uh, mother or yes. the other wife. Mm. But there are questions, there are so many questions that I still have and I sometimes I, when I sleep I say when I meet my dad, yeah. I really want to ask him, why did you do this to me? Why did you really leave me when I was at a vulnerable age, at the age of 21, hustle in the street of Zika, trying to sell book, Christian books, I was selling, I was hawking Joyce Meyer's book, T.D. Jakes books to make a living whereas I had passed I had a B minus in, in form four okay. I, I yes I finished I have my records here yeah. I finished in 2003 mm -hmm. I had a B minus mm -hmm. and my dad could not buy the, and I, I don't know which this hatred the whole love he had it turned to be hatred mm -hmm. I don't know I was not there I don't know the reason mm -hmm. why what was had between them and my mother both mm -hmm. of them are my parents mm -hmm. I had to love them equally there was no way I would hate my mother so for me, uh, I feel bad that the relationship was no longer there. Mm. It's true. I don't have to lie to the viewers that yeah. we had a relationship. It was not there. It was not there. He actually encouraged even these, uh, these two girls to block me. And these girls are actually, I've been nurturing them. The one in Mombasa doing maritime mm. attachment. Mm. I have been helping her with accounting. Mm. There's some concept in account she doesn't understand. Mm. She calls me, video call, WhatsApp me, and I... I explained to her. Mm -hmm. There are also issues, they, when I saw Immaculate, I know the other sister, the older one, yeah. that she was not able, she, she, she is mm -hmm. not coping with education. Mm -hmm. And when I came in 2016, I'm actually the one who encouraged her to start a YouTube channel, start creating, because I saw she liked traveling, content. content. Mm -hmm. She liked traveling mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So I was guiding them and, you know, and I had no hatred yes. whatsoever with these kids yeah. because I believe they're my blood, mm -hmm. they're my sisters. Of course. So, but the situation with my father is very complicated. Yeah. Also bearing... Let me, let me take you back. Yeah. You said you were hooking books yes. in Zika. Yes. This is after you've gotten a B- minus from yes. high school? From high school. So why did you not proceed to... You? I'm just asking this yes. because I know your father, yeah. from the little I've gathered, yes. loved education. Yeah, very he much. He even yeah. went back and did his masters. masters. Yeah. So why did you not go to university? So this what happened. My B was mine was a B minus. Eh? Yes. It was a weak my B, B. by then mm -hmm. in two thousand three. So you could not go to university through the regular channel. You gotta do parallel. You do have mm. to do parallel. So when I approached my dad, yeah. he said no. I went to school to pray around. Mark you, my dad, and really I want to actually attest that we had a, he had a close love with me, a relationship with me. I went to two boarding schools. In my primary, I went to Wango boarding school in Karabawango. Then I went to Mount Kenya Plainsview Academy, Kathageri, yeah. that is in Embu. Yeah. And that's why I finished my primary school. Mm -hmm. And that was back in 1999. Mm -hmm. And then I proceeded to Kamama Boys, which is King David High School in Renyenges, not yeah. Renyenges, yeah. uh, here in Manyata. Yeah. Uh, that's why I did my KCSC. But unfortunately, I did not do well as per my father's expectation, so mm -hmm. I had a B minus. Mm -hmm. So when it, I came out, I could not go to university. I had to go through the parallel level. So mm -hmm. when I approached my dad for this, he said, no, I went to pray around in school and I never did what I was supposed yeah. to do. And for me, in Kikudi, he was telling me in Kikudi, 
and these words were because what, I, well, what's that in joy hore is joy like saying um, also, when you know when a um, when a chicken yeah. has chicks yes they get to an age yeah. where it's the chick has no longer to f- rely on the mother you're on your own, on now. Your own. <laughs> so those are the, my dad's yeah. words they yeah. were very they were very they were very horrible words i would say that because yeah. at a 22 or 21 what do you do a phone for liver Right now is where I'm almost 40, and I can tell you, 22 will not do much for himself. Mm. A form for liver, mm. not unless you hook or you get a, yeah. a small job around. No, but yeah, there were allegations that you were given money to go and study accounting, eh? <laughs> and that's now the money you used to run to South Africa. Oh, those are lies. And I don't want to get deeper <laughs> yeah. into the story because yeah. I want to really respect your father's legacy because yes. he's not here to yeah. object yeah. But i just want to know your journey in south africa yeah. were you given money to no actually i was hawking books mm. i was a member of father's house church in roiro pastor victor is, can attest to that mm-hmm. and he was the one who was providing me with books and i would sell books on commission yeah. so i educated myself so basically my dad even mm. refused to, when he refused so we had to have an agreement mm. through my his brother mm-hmm. that uh, i should go to kenya school of, of monetary studies mm-hmm. and do a certificate in banking yeah. so he would pay my half school fees sometimes and i would pay my accommodation and food mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. and when i finished i got a job in industrial area mm-hmm. and i also was doing partitioning of offices here in nairobi mm-hmm. city center mm-hmm. because the company I was working for was a construction company yeah. Yeah. so the money the little money i gathered from the books and everything I, I actually got my own passport, got my visa. I went to South Africa using a bus, not a mm. flight. Mm. I went, there were buses by then, mm. they were known as Scandinavia. Mm. So I took from, a bus from Yamakema to um, a place called, to Lusaka, Zambia. Mm. And from Lusaka, Zambia, because I had a visa, mm. I boarded the, the city, my city, they're yes. called city to city, the yeah. buses from South Africa. Mm-hmm. And that's how I got to South Africa. Right. Otherwise, there was no way. There was no way. And that I used my father's money to run away. That's, oh, okay. uh, that's, that's a lie. That's just a lie. All right. Yes. Let's get to the matter yeah. um, that is currently in front of us right now. Yes. Every time someone passes on, yes. the issues, um, properties, yes, succession, succession, yes. they come, you know, yeah, yeah. and p- you see people's true colors. Yes. Yeah. But before we go to the succession matters, yes. this is your dad's uh, eulogy. Yeah, this is yes. where you have the eulogies. Yes. And I just noticed something um, when I was going through it. Yes. Um, it says here that uh, he married Esther Wawera Njuguna. Yeah. And they had two ki- three kids, uh, Peter Kamau Immaculate Wanjiko and Yvonne Nyendo. So if property is to be distributed, yes. then it should be distributed uh, to the wife, yes. who is uh, Shiko's mama, yes. Esther Wawira Njuguna, mm-hmm. and then Peter Kamau, yes. your Peter Kamau, yes. Immaculate is Shiko, yes. and Yvonne Nyendo. Yes. First and foremost, is this correct? Uh, to start with Lynn, mm. That is that is incorrect. Mm-hmm. Um, yesterday there was a video in a channel that was made. Eh? Yes. I don't want to mention the the, the mm-hmm. video. Yeah. She said she was married when she was nineteen. That was in nineteen ninety nine. Mm. And we've already nineteen ninety nine. I was doing my strategy eight. Yeah. How can she be my mother? In the first place, those are lies. Mm-hmm. That is misinformation. Mm-hmm. So she's not my mother biologically. Who drafted this? Uh, it was drafted by her, okay. partial, partially. Mm-hmm. We, actually, it, this eulogy brought a lot of issues, yeah. and I had to walk out of it mm-hmm. because one, I did not want to create drama or issues during my father's burial. Good. Remember, hold that part. <laughs> yes. There is a reason yeah. I'm asking who drafted this because in the story yes. that we just aired, yeah. it said yeah. that. You wanted to leave the family, mm-hmm. that is Shiko, her sister, and her mama, mm. out of this eulogy. Those are lies because I was not even part of it. Mm. I I had to walk out of it. I, the my I don't know my uncle, but in Kikuyu I would say Baba Mdogo, yeah. yes. Kiswahili, yeah. Baba Mdogo. Mm. That's my father's brother, the one who follows him. Eh? Uh, he's a, he was part of it, and my the Wazewa Kijiji, eh? the close family yes. members, eh? yeah. they are the one. Yeah. And Mama Ima was there, yeah. uh, the, 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 well, the wife now, the current wife, she was there. And because I knew that it was, it was going to create issues, mm. and because I know her, 
I had to walk out of it and mm. I said, look, I'm not here. I did not fly 5,000 kilometers from Cape Town to come and create drama at my father's burial. Mm. So I had to leave and let, ev- because they are grown up, I trusted them. I said, because these are my uncles, these are Wazewa Kijiji, they know my history, mm. they write the right thing. Mm. So when it was uh, printed, and actually I sent a PDF, it created issues actually in, in, with my folks, mm. with my family members mm. from the other side and from my, my father's siblings. They created issues. Why did, they, did you allow this? I said, I, it was already been written. My uncle was there. Mm. So I had nothing to do with this eulogy. Okay. And now, yeah. four people yeah. here. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. Yvonne, Shiko, and the mama. Yes. If now we were to talk matter succession, yes. they would be the rightful yes. people to inherit yes, yes. whatever dad left behind. Yes. Who has been left behind from this? Um, there's my mother. Mm-hmm. There's my sister who is mm. in South Africa, who, yeah. who lives in South Africa together with me. Mm-hmm. And there is, a, yeah, those two. Those two. Those two. Uh, because, okay, I just want to make this clear to you, Lynn, mm. that uh, back in the days, 80s and 70s, mm-hmm. mostly people did what we call customary marriage. Yes. It happens now. Yeah. It's only that people are doing it formal, mm. where they have certificate. Mm-hmm. Back in ba- back in those days, it was like Rorashio. Yeah. You have gone, you have said, I have this girl, and you start the Rorashio process. Yes. So in real sense, even in Kikuyu, mm-hmm. My mom is still married to my father, customary, mm-hmm. because the Rorashio has never died. Yeah. Whatever that uh, was started has never died. How long were they together? For 17 years. Seven, they uh, were together for? For 17 years. With your mom? With my mom. Yes. Uh, let's say they, they, they married around 81. Yeah. And my sister was born in 82, mm. uh, and I was born in 83. Yes. So they were to they separated in 1999 when okay. I was completing my KCPE. Yes. And that's when, actually, I wonder, I had someone saying that they were courting. There was no courtship. There was no courtship because mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. uh, when I, I was in boarding school, my that time, I'm going, I'm leave, I left mom in August. When I'm coming back mm-hmm. for December holiday, there is issues with the, in the family mm-hmm. and my mom has gone. Mm-hmm. And already my dad in January, in that the same, same year, he's already married and it was chaotic, but I was young. There was nothing I would have done. Good. Hold yeah. there. Yeah. I don't want to put your big sister in this story because yes. there were things that were said yes. and I really want to respect her privacy. Yes. But you believe she is also she should rightfully inherit something from your dad. Why? Well, one, uh, the issue whether she was not my father's child, Yeah. I don't know it. I've never, I've, my mother has never told me. Mm. She doesn't have to look like my dad. She might look, genes, people look differently. Yeah. So she has your dad's name? She has my, her, her Kenyan ID is Jerusha Wamboi Jogona. She was educated by your dad? And up till thread eight, uh-huh. and then my father refused when they had commotion with my mom. She, uh-huh. He refused to educate her. Mm. And my mother still also, her name bears Jogona, the yes. surname. Yes. The ID is they are st- saying yes. Jogona. Jogona yeah. is our surname. Okay. Yeah. Apart from the fact that your mom, yeah. Rorashio, was done, yes. why do you think she should inherit anything from that place? Um, I, did this, I, I don't think she should. I, I didn't say she shouldn't. Okay. I, what I said is that uh, most of everyone should be included mm. in the, my father's inheritance mm-hmm. because we are all his people. We are all a family. Yeah. Who planted the tea leaves? In my, that? Yeah. I wanted to go there. Mm. So initially, uh, we used to stay in Narok, mm. and actually I was born in Narok, yeah. in Osopokia, Narok yeah. County. Mm. But uh, around 89, 88, 89, my grandfather told my dad, I have a land in Muranga, which is ancestral. Mm. And he, because he had other sons, and my father was the oldest son, he was to hire to, to inherit the land in Muranga. We call it Gekoyo. He, he was on to inherit the land. So, and I remember around 1991, my brother, the, my father's brother coming to actually agree and attest that they have freely accepted my father to be given the land. Mm -hmm. And this, Lynn, this Mm -hmm. is the green card Mm -hmm. here, and you can see from the green card. Yeah, so you are explaining to me what a green card is, maybe if you could tell our audience. Yeah, so a green card. I Mm -hmm. actually learned of it the other day. Yes. So let's say there is an an issue with the land and Mm -hmm. you want to know. Mm -hmm. So you walk to any land registry, 
uh, registrar, mm. a, a building, mm -hmm. somewhere maybe in Moranga or Nairobi, yeah. and then you inquire if you have the land number, yeah. and they pull out this document mm. for you. It's called the green card. Mm -hmm. So it shows the history of the land. So the land transfer. Transfer, yes. who had the land mm -hmm. initially, how the land w yes. went from one hand to, to another. another. And that's how I, I was able to, to get this from Moranga. Yes. And you can see from here, the first owner, the, the land was registered to Kamau Ndorofo. Yes. That's our Guka, yeah. the father to my father. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was the rightful owner. Yeah. And he gave it as a gift. You, if you read there, it's, to, give, yes. it's given as a gift. As a gift. To my father. Yes. The narrative that is being given by these two girls and the mother, at the, that they bought the land. The land was never, give, never bought by my dad. He was given freely by my Guka. How people might ask, yeah. how do we know this is not fake? Uh, you can do, you have the, there is mm. a, the, the land number, yes. the title number, mm -hmm. the location. Mm. Kenyona is locked too. You yes. know in Moranga yes. we have locked, yes. locked, locked. So there's no way anyone would and have removed also... here from purchase to give. No, 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 no. Okay. So these you mm. pull it from there. The records. The records. Good. Yeah. And then it's transferred to your dad to and then dad. to Shiko's mom. To Shiko's mom. Mm -hmm. Now that's where the issue comes in. And Talk to me about it. Now, um, my dad had psychiatric issues. And he was admitted to Madare Hospital in 2010 initially. And he, since then he has been a, uh, a patient there on and off until he, his, dis, his, his demise mm -hmm. when he was killed. Oh, on and off? Like, yeah, one and off. Okay. And he was continuously under medication. Mm -hmm. Now, my question... So even by the time he was passing on... He was under medication. Okay. He, he was under medication. Mm -hmm. As uh, the story goes out, mm -hmm. the narrative they are giving out there, that uh, she was happily married to my dad and she had the marriage certificate. My question now to everyone, to the viewers is, if you truly know you love your husband, she loves you and she's not going to divorce you, why the urge to have the land transferred from the husband to you? Did you, the question I'm asking myself, nobody knows who is going to die first. But so, then the question here is, yes, yes. and what I've heard yes. on the ground, yes. the reason your dad moved this land yes. from his name yeah. to his wife's name, mm -hmm. it's because he knew the kind of people you were. That once he dies, mm -hmm. you are likely to come and harass them. And he needed to make sure that they are protected legally. Uh, let me ask you, Lynn, a question. How did my dad know that we, the kind of people we are? And yet he left us 20, when I was 21 for mm -hmm. the last 26 years. Mm -hmm. I haven't, why I haven't caused chaos? Mm -hmm. All right, why I haven't caused chaos all those 26 years? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. Then if that's the kind of a person we are, we should have been ca causing chaos. We knew he was sick. We respected him. Okay, we didn't even know the land was changed in the first place. I didn't even know. I learned it after the death of my father. And after the, the issues we saw, the, the, the behavior we saw with this, this, the, the mother, mm -hmm. okay? She sold the, the kettles. She moved everything from the from homestead. When? After the burial of my father, mm -hmm. she goes once sold all the kettle, the mm -hmm. two kettles that were in the homestead. She removed everything in the house, that mansion they built. She went, I don't know, to stay somewhere in Vika Road or somewhere. I don't know. What she... did she remove because I've been in that house? I was told she removed all her stuff from the house. Or just her stuff, her stuff. not the chairs. Ah, and... yeah. Ah, yeah. So she removed mm. all her belongings mm -hmm. because now uh, there is a narrative that she can't stay there. And in Kikuyu, Kikuyu Kacha, there is an issue of um, when you, your wife passes yes. or your husband passes, you stay around the homestead. You cannot leave your homestead. What if she felt unsafe? Because Why would she feel unsafe? Because for number one, yeah. your dad was murdered. You yes. don't know if the same person will come back home okay. and harm her. Yes. We have a criminal okay. walking around, right? Okay. Then the hostility, according to her, yes. during the burial period, she felt like she was not safe. I don't know about selling the cattle or removing things, but what if maybe the reason, maybe what if she felt? Um, well, it's for her to, to say, I can't say for mm -hmm, herself, mm -hmm. but the question is, yes. um, you, you're, you're talking about hostility. Yes. My question is, how don't you get along with your neighbor, the, the whole village, you're not getting along with your whole village. How don't you get along with your immediate in-laws? The immediate in-laws. Have you spoken to your neighbors? Yes, because I've spoken. Because one of the things that's breaking their hearts yes. 
is that the neighbors felt unbothered. There were claims that even one neighbor had your dad a scream, but they did not come to his rescue. Yes. What are the neighbors saying? Like, is it true? No. It's very weird. No, it's not weird. Let me tell you. Most of the time, you see, you have been to my home. I didn't mm. even know you were there. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynn, from, right from somewhere we call Wagashero up to Wadakaria, mm -hmm. that's where we call them. Mm -hmm. Those are their names. Eh? Yeah. That's one family called Bare Adwati, yeah. and those we are families, our Gukas, Gukans, we are one, okay? And we have been living as brothers and sisters there. Even when, I am, when I'm in Kenyona, you saw the house, be, yes. that, the, other, the next house, yeah. that's why I sleep, mm. it's for my uncle, mm. uh, that's why I sleep, yeah. because we are family. Now the question is this, if you live with your neighbors in a hostility manner, if, any, if, a, if a goat comes to your place and you just run, a, call the police for them. Mm. And the other question is this, where were you if you are such love birds? I mean, this is my question and this is everyone I want to ask themselves. So if you are such love birds and you are involved in politics, okay, and it's during inauguration, mm. you have a car. Why can't you put your husband in the same car? You go to the same inauguration with him. Why leave your husband to make himself coffee tea in the morning and being, being attacked and butchered by 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 the farm worker is there are you bitter I'm with bitter. her for some reason that the, she wasn't home that day uh, the, the question is mm. uh, uh, lean there are a lot of dots when i do my maths one plus two plus three should be six all right do the maths for me now what's not making sense it doesn't make sense because there are motives their dots don't add up okay lean i'm not here because this a matter under investigation yes. it's under police investigation yeah. i wouldn't want preempting good but the question is um, when, when, when this is happening, Lynn, where were you? Okay, where were you? The story that goes around, she was in inauguration. My father is making himself, he's taking the kettle to, to the forest in the morning, six in the morning. Then he comes to make himself breakfast. Shouldn't he though? I, I'm Shouldn't saying, he make I, his... I'm not saying that. He was yes. sick. He was a sickly man. Mm. My father, as I said, he yeah. was a psychiatric case. Mm -hmm. He was sick. Mm. So, you see the story that's being told there that they were love birds, okay? Back before this, if I take you back to this green card, yes. there's a time before my father was sick, there was a time there was a huge fight in the village. Everyone in the village knows. When she took the title D and she took it to a neighbor, and that's why she was hiding the title D. And when my father confronted her, it was a big fight where our, her in -law, my father's in-law had to come in, mm -hmm. my father's family side had to why come in. Why was she hiding the title deed? Uh, because um, from the minority, from my uncles, she wanted the land to be transferred to her and my father was saying, no, mm. they should, mm. there's no need, you're my wife, mm. why should I transfer the land to you? And when the neighbor gave the title D to back to my dad, and there, there were chaos. Those yes. are the stories you don't want to talk. Mm. Now, when she transferred the land to herself without a witness of a family member, and Lynn, I'm not lying. This is not your father who transferred the land to her? He might have done it, yes. but was he in, in, in his own right mind? Okay. That's the question. All and right. Lynn, another question. Mm. Was there a witness from the family member? Is there anyone in the family member saying they are witnesses? No. Nobody so saying. So no one saw. There was no witness. My uncles or my siblings, the sibling, my dad's sibling, no one knew that the land was transferred. Okay. If it was, If it was in good intention, with good faith, then there should have been an in, uh, someone else. If it was in good faith, I should have been informed. Mm -hmm. But now it was not in good faith. Mm -hmm. And in what right mind was the land being transferred to her? Okay, good. Um, now let me take you back, right? Yes. These are succession matters. Yes. Then there's this man who did this to Criminal your father. Matter, yes. One of the questions that was asked in the video is, yes. why are you so concerned about the succession matter yes. instead of you being at the forefront oh. of fighting for justice and making sure this man has been found? Yes, Lynn, I have been involved. Mm. But Lynn, there are things when your hands are tied. The matter is under is with DCIO Kangari. Yeah. I have been calling, I've been I've been going there. I've also involved my lawyers that are helping me to find justice. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing there's nothing I can do. I'm not gonna keep on chipping money where there's not and anyway it's corruption. Yes. That's what we don't want. Some yeah. of these are services that government should offer for free. Mm -hmm. Why should I keep on chipping money? For not unless fast investigation. For, for, in, for, in, for in, investigation. Mm. The fact is my father is not gonna come back in the first place. Okay, we want justice, but 
financially I'm also tied. I have things to do. So I cannot keep on shipping money. Uh, I mean, that does not make sense to mm, me. Mm. If the DCIO tells you they are, have the investigation going on, they have seen him, the signal somewhere. There's not I'm much you can do. There's nothing I can do. Mm. N- not unless they are telling me I should hire a private investigator to investigate the matter, mm-hmm. which the matter is already under investigation. The, the, the investigation. Mm-hmm. So the culprit is known, the ID is known. Why should I keep on mentoring with government affairs? Mm. Already that's a crime matter. Yeah. It's with the government. Mm. So the government should do its job. Mm-hmm. For, so, for us, is a civil matter, mm. which we should deal with it. Yes. And we should deal with that matter within the family. Mm. But when they bring the matters to the social media, we want to go to the social media. What's yeah, I thought you know something. No, cool. I know, I know. If you take me slowly, just take me slowly. Okay. No, let me interpret it. Just take me slowly. <laughs> I don't want to be told I don't know yes, my. Yes. But take me slowly. <laughs> Mugwe what to call? What? Mugwe is an arrow. An arrow. An arrow. An arrow at ko. night. Yeah. So an arrow at night should be returned back to where it came from the same, the same night, night. The same night. Don't, 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 don't joke with me. I know, yeah, my, I know, I know, my, I know my language. I yes, you get it. Yes. So um, mm. what I'm trying to say, mm. they brought it on the social media. Yeah. The same we have to respond on the social on media. On the social media. Okay. So yes. the allegation mm. that my I'm more responsible, I'm more... Uh, looking up after the property the proper that's what I want yeah. that's that's where my interest is yes yes of course my interest is there I'm not going to lie yeah. I have an interest because I'm mm. saying this this was my father okay I have a partial interest in the inheritance of my father's estate why first of all the land it has sentimental value mm. is ancestral mm. to me so meaning it has an sentimental value I'm not worried about the vehicles they have the other shamba they have the other I'm not worried about I'm worried about the land this land mm. one my mother had investment in the land yes. she planted that tea plantation yeah. back in 89 what's mom saying my Your mother my mom is a little bit elderly yes. so and uh, you know she has been through so much in life and uh, she she's a person who doesn't like uh, uh, you know drama drama so she she'll keep to herself mm-hmm. uh, she's supporting me but uh, she's worried about the whole thing mm. because she was worried when my sister told her what everyone is saying on the social media mm. that I was involved in my father's death because mm. I'm after the inheritance yes Lynn don't get me wrong I must say these girls or the mother shouldn't inherit the land the ancestral land no that's not what I'm saying mm. what I'm trying to say is this Please, I have a share in that land. I have a share. Let's have equal share in the land. I'm mm. not even worried about the vehicles they have, the plot they have, the other shamba in Embu. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about where I grew up as a child. Mm. It's so, that was my mother's matrimonial home. And the question everyone is waiting for me to ask you, yes. is it true yeah. that you are chasing this family out of that land? Uh, I know why the question is coming up yes. and I know what happened. Um, Lynn, initially, I tried thrice. First, I spoke to the mother. Mm. I told her, let her have a sitting. She snobbed me. Mm. She said she's, she cannot sit down and talk about her, 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 her late fa- uh, Husband. husband's asset. Her husband had already said what goes to her. I wasn't happy, but I didn't want to have a conversation with her, so I left her. After two, three days, I called him the, the, the older one. Yes. She, she did not pick my phone. So I ended up calling the younger one. Yes. And we had a conversation. And um, she said she cannot sit with me and discuss anything about my father's asset mm-hmm. because my father had already said what, it is, mm. what everyone has. Mm. And I asked her, do you think it's fair what you people are saying? Don't you think there are issues that are wrong here and there are issues because even if this land was transferred to you, yeah. There are issues that are not equal. You cannot compare. And you know, I, I'm an accountant, I deal with numbers. Yes. You cannot compare a three quarter of a land in Kenyona, Muranga, a prime land full of majani chai, tea plantation. An acre in Kenyona is going for four million. Multiply that by three, that's about 12 million. I'm not even worried about the, the house, but the house is being valued at six million. Yes. Add it up, she's selling the land as per the people. Who, who is selling the land? The wife. 
She's already selling the she land. She was selling the white. She was selling the she had give the, the she had put the land and the house on the market. Who told you? Uh it's it's all over the village. You know the village mm. has news. Mm. <laughs> mm. So everyone knew and there are people who came to see the land mm. and she was putting in the market for 20 million. Mm. That's what the word went through. Mm. And that's why I got really mad. And as I spoke to the young uh, younger sister of mine and she said I shouldn't go and visit Kenyona. I shouldn't visit my father's house or my father's land. It really annoyed me. She mm. said that is their home and I should leave them alone mm -hmm. and I should know. And I told her. But your father is buried there. Yes, my father is buried there. So I told her, listen, I'll come there and you're not going to stop me from coming there. So I pull, as, I, as I'm parking, mm. who I see on the, uh, near the gate mm. is a younger sister. Mm -hmm. She started throwing words to me and I pull the car and I park it inside the homestead. Mm -hmm. And that's where the altercation came. Okay. And that's where the whole, but Lynn, I'm very conscious on this. I did not lay my hands on anyone, but there were words that were exchanged. That is true. Mm. But I did not lay hands on anyone. on anyone. The camera is there, the CCTV is there, but I did not lay hands on anyone. There were words, there were bitter words that were exchanged verbally. That is, mm. that is there, I cannot deny. Yes. And the reason is, and you cannot tell me I cannot visit my father's home. You you know what pains me so much, mm. Lynn. You wait for me to fly from Cape Town to Kenya, come contribute largely on his barrio, okay? When everything was stalling, and then when we have laid my father, you have yes. decided to tell me mm. I cannot visit my father's mm. home. Mm. That was a pain. And besides, I'm older than them by far. They are twenty. I'm almost forty. They have my age. And even whatever Emma was talking on the on on the other channel about my mother and dressing my mother, that was very disrespectful of her. My mother is almost sixty. It, it's it's wrong. It's wrong. It's so wrong. So you do not want to chase them out. You no. just want your equal share. We need and Lynn, I'm very careful. I'm very, and also on this matter, I'm very. I feel so bad. They are out there on YouTube soliciting money from the public. Lynn, they have a cow that. Two million as Honda CRV. That lady can sell that car and educate the children. They have a, a plot in Darugo. She can sell that plot and educate. There are so many Kenyans who don't have anything to eat and they are there, out there trying to show how desperate they are. It's wrong. It's wrong, morally wrong for me. That's how I feel. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. Do you have a land of your own? Yes, I because can. Yeah. The allegations again are you are given <laughs> your share. What do you want this share? Uh, as I said, the land that is being alleged I was given, even my father does not own it. He was given as a gift, a quarter an acre where my grandfather mm. had a house because in Kikuyu to a the older the older son. The older son. Okay? He has to bury his father. Okay, so my father had to bury his father. The same way I have to bury my father. Mm. And that's why I came to mm. Kumonita That is Kikuyu. You come and hold your father's head mm. when he's dead. And mm. if, if you see the photos, I hope they are there. I'm holding the coffin to lay my dad. And that is Kikuyu Kacha. Mm. So for me, I also have to bury my father and the, 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 the what do you call it? Mm. The, where he's buried. Yes. Uh, that land, that mm. part, part of the land has mm. to be. I have to own it. Mm. That is my share mm. because that's how it is. It's that and I'm not saying they shouldn't be part of that land. I'm not saying her mother shouldn't be given a share. Let's share the land. Mm. That's all I'm e saying. Equally. Equally. And I'm not interested with other asset mm. they have. You just want your ancestral, ancestral home. land because it's so, it's so personal to me. Mm. That's home. The, the land. Yeah. It's so personal for you, to me. that's home. That's, that's home. Yes, okay, yeah. let's talk about, as we wind up, huh? yes. let's talk about Shiko's YouTube channel. Huh? Yes, yes. You said you are even the one who encouraged her yes. to start it. Yes. But she also alleged yeah. that, and uh, I am doing this because I had informed them, yes. I would also be reaching out to you yes. for your side of the story. Yes. And I do this with almost everyone. I get to see Twitter. Yeah. But uh, saying that you're the one reporting that channel, mm so that her content can be deleted. Is that true? Um, reporting to? To YouTube. No, no, no. Some yeah. of her videos were already brought down and they say you are the one who reported that to YouTube. Oh, no, I am not even, I am not even aware of that. I'm even hearing it for the first time. Okay. What I've uh, done, mm. I've requested her to pull that video. 
she's alleging mm -hmm. and making the, you the, her followers to actually implicate me in my father's death. I felt if there were issues really, that we have misunderstanding as almost every sibling in every family yes. in this Kenya yeah. do. Mm -hmm. They have a misunderstanding between them. Mm -hmm. They are channels, they are better channels to solve your um, family issues, not on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. My father's brothers are there who I call them Fafa Monini. Yeah. I'm Small sure, uncle. yes, they should have, mm. <laughs> they, she, she can reach to them yes. and they talk to me, mm. which is the proper way, mm. instead of putting our dirty linen out there on the social media. Do you feel crucified in all this? Do you feel like you're the black sheep in all this? Uh, I, I, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. One, if you have evidence against me or uh, implicating me in my father's death, take it to the DCI. And I've been very precise on all those words with those people because I felt so bad and so bitter because I know what I've gone through in my life, educating myself in South Africa. And I know what is not to have and not what is to lack. Mm. I know what to, to live with, with, with the one million diaspora and to make it happen in life. So for me, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't bother me mm. going back to a question you ask yes. whether i do i have properties yes lean uh there are records and even have records here i have invested very heavily with maryland in in plots mm. and uh, vehicles i have a vehicle I, and a vehicle is nothing mm. you know uh, so if it's matter of properties i do have some properties i'm not that rich but, but i have, some have few properties for, for myself mm. and i'm not out there looking to look going after my father's late yes. uh, asset yeah. just you know to disfranchise them or mm. to to harm them no all i'm saying let's sit down as a family and let have me, a conversation let me have a conversation yeah. let me have part of the, my inheritance land mm. because i also you know it's so biblical the man carries the seed okay when they marry and it's all over the culture when these girls marry they will go and become part and parcel of mm. another family mm. when my child when I have a son, by the way, I have a daughter. Her Aww. name is Becky. She's nine. Uh, so oh. when you my, are dad, yeah, I'm a dad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when I have a son, I want to leave that land to to him, that part of land, and that's how it should be. Mm. You know, you 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 we hold it in trust for our future kids. You mm. know why? It's a history we are creating, mm. just like the Jew they do, and all the other Muslim and other people they have. It's a culture. Yeah. So for me, I'm not out there to be to be selfish yes. as I'm being labeled, to be lazy. Mm. I'm the lazy person in the uh, waiting to be, to, to, I was waiting for my father to die mm -hmm. and inherit everything. Mm. No, 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 that, that's not me. Yeah. That's not me. All I'm saying, let me get my share. Mm. And uh, we say, yeah. you know, inherit you your dad or your father or your, your, dad, or your, father, or yes. your you cannot inherit your brother, mm. your father's brother. Mm. So you inherit your dad mm. and that's the norm. And whatever they are saying, they are saying that quarter of our land, that land is not even in my father's name. And there's nothing there. It's not even in my father's name. The one they are they're saying, saying you are giving. Yes. yes. And you cannot compare that land. It's in somewhere called Maela. Mm. Maela is in Naivasha. Yeah. That's where the land is. Yeah. You cannot compare that land with the, the, the other part of the land. Yes. And besides that land, they have other properties. Mm. They have a plot. It's known. Yeah. They have a plot in <laughs> in Juja, mm. Daru. Mm. They have a land in, in, in Embu. Yes. They have a car. Mm. I'm not after all those things. Mm. All I'm saying, give me your share. Or share of my inheritance. Mm. Lane, that's all I'm saying. Mm. And then again, I really want to ask them on this channel. Yes. Please stop asking money, soliciting money from the fund. You have assets you can say. They have, let me explain to you. In Majani Chai, when you have Majani Chai, mm. you actually have like a pay slip at the end of the month. So if you tune that Majani Chai, you, you pluck them and you take to the center. You are paid every month per kilo. Mm. So the mother has an income. You understand? Already. Already. So she had cows that she sold. Okay? She has other things. Uh, she has the car. So if it's the money they have, before they go asking people to contribute them for, mm. for you know, for whatever mm. reason, mm. they should first of all look inward. What yes. can we sell? What can we sell? Stop asking money, for, mm. you know, from funds people. from the... It, it's not right. It's immoral. Yes. For me, I feel it's immoral mm. because... Do you really have to drive a two million vehicle mm -hmm. and ask people for funds from the public? Mm -hmm. 
Lean, that does not that, sit well with that's you. Not, that's not right. All right. You have to have ethics mm -hmm. and cautiousness mm -hmm. in your heart, mm -hmm. and that's that's how I feel. That's how you feel. Yes. Uh, I I obviously they are going to watch this. Yes. As I said, I had they are the ones who even sent me your number. Yes. And said call him and see what he will say. <laughs> and I'm glad I've called you. Yes. Um, for if they are watching this, yes. what would you want them to know that camera? Uh, Yvonne and Immaculate. You need to understand one thing for sure, that uh, putting your data linen in the public will not help you in anything. Uh, your ch you, YouTube channel will, will have likes and views, but you're going to lose your brother. I'm your brother. You can attest that I'm actually the one who encouraged you to start your YouTube. Yvonne, I've been helping you with your accounting when, uh, when I'm in South Africa in Cape Town. So I'm still your brother. And uh, all this ha can come to pass, but the, our father blood runs in our vein. You, you carry my father's gene, and do, so do I. So um, I think as siblings, you are no longer kids. Ima, I re you, you really need to understand. Uh, Dad has left you at the same age he left me in my life, honestly. So whatever you're going to be going through, I have gone through it. He was not there for, in my life. And I don't want to keep on blaming your mother, but she was hugely uh, responsible for that. Uh, she encouraged that uh, separation and perpetuated the whole thing, separation between, and the, there was no reconciliation between me and my father. And I want you to do what you call inner search. Search your heart. Know that hatred do not bring anything. Yes, I'm bitter. I have been bitter because of how you guys have treated me. But I have to heal and I have to forgive you. I've forgiven you. And I want you to really understand that you need to pull down that video first. It's, it's not right video for you to put. You need to forgive me and you need to forgive yourselves. Because the forgiveness starts from you. And when you heal, and you have to accept the way it is, dad has gone, yes. And like David said, uh, I'm not moon again. Uh, my son has gone, it's me to follow him. The same. And also there's something you mentioned uh, that you are going to talk to dad Kwakaburi. Please stop that. Stop talking to the spirit of the dead. You have opening yourself vulnerable to spiritual attack. If you do understand what I'm talking about, the dead are in the land of the dead. We are in the land of the living. Please live your life. Let our father spirit stays there. Because Lynn, I'll say this, mm -hmm. when you start uh, astro projection or start doing all those things, you open yourself to uh, spirits. Yeah. And those spirits could become in terms pretending to be your dad. And they'll start talking to you. So please, Ima, it's very, very serious. Stop saying that. Another thing you said, and even in her videos, they kept talking about the issues surrounding death. Please stop doing those kind of, uh, stop talking about death too much. Uh, it's like you are that, you, you are proclaiming that in your life. So I would really, I would really encourage you to stop that kind of talks. Uh, they were saying that if anything happened to them, one, I don't know where you stay. I don't call you, I don't follow you, so please, anything can happen Lean to anyone. Yeah. We are driving, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So I think that was very irresponsible of you mm -hmm. to say that if anything happened to you, I have no interest to harm you whatsoever. So please try to avoid speaking about death. Mm -hmm. I've seen something that you are really talking about in your video. I've watched and analyzed your videos, so I really want you to, to stop talking about death. And remember, life is for the living, it's not for the dead. The father is, our father is gone, there's nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can do is get justice, but it has to be through the right channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise, just understand, I, I really want you guys to understand me and understand my position in life and what I want. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I have no ill motive whatsoever, with, whatsoever with anyone. Yeah, I, I, I get you. Yeah. Um, I know this is going to be a bit harder, yes. but this man here, Yeah. Is your father? Yeah. What is it you wish 
to have told him that you never did yeah and i know i can't ask him to tell you the same yeah but just what is it that you really wish to have told him even among all these things that uh, that you wish you like you could tell him right now lean it's difficult it's it's difficult uh, when you're shown tough love and that's what my dad did he gave me tough love in a way i appreciate that he made me to man up and to really be tough in life and really fight for whatever i have to have in life but sometimes i feel ah, that conversation of you and your father sitting down just having a conversation he used to he oh, is just having that conversation he used to be very repetitive with something that makes him laugh uh, you know our place, our place the elephants come out and we had a name neighbor and my dad would make a joke that the the neighbor was telling the elephant not to throw the cabbage to him <laughs> and he would keep repeating the story 10 times and you like oh this is too much you know those are the small things i miss about my dad he loves stories he used to love stories you know I, sometimes i look at him and i know what what she misses about my dad yes. because he he would sit with you in there and give you stories just stories and you know uh, this kind of a man they like repeating st- the same story but over and, and over, and over and <laughs> different <laughs> different way differently yes. uh, differently yes. and it's a make it to make you laugh yeah. so those are the things i miss about my dad mm. uh, apart from that um, i miss I, i really wish he had time with my daughter becky uh, there were time he, my do- my daughter would video call him and they call him guka right from cape town and you have a conversation and uh, those were the moments i laughed and then until then things went sour and I, uh, he i would call he doesn't respond to me he doesn't pick my call sorry and those are those are the things that uh, uh, are really bothering me mm. i wish i had uh, i wish i could go just back in time yes. if time we could go back just back in time and restart the whole thing again yeah. and we make it perfect now yes. and there's no <laughs> where well, there's all these things going on mm. uh, but again i see i i feel i feel there's a reason for everything I know at times I feel there was a reason even for my father and my mother separating. Ima could not be alive today because they would not have met with my with the mother. So uh, I see I'm very holistic in my thinking and how I see life. I don't see life in just one way. I believe we are here on earth to experience life. And it's not about what we we what we have and what we don't have life is a journey to be experienced yes. all these are experiences the bad and the ugly the happiness it, it, all this we must we are souls and we yes. have to go through the yeah. journey yeah. of a, of of a growth the soul has mm. to go has to know what is to be loved what is not to be loved what is the hunger what is happiness what's pain what is pain it, it's a soul that's mm. learning yeah. i'm a bit spiritual in a way yeah. so i understand this thing in a deeper mm. way so for me life is there to be experienced and these girls need to understand that mm. they should not see me as an enemy an enemy ah uh, i do you, do you think you can sit down and have a conversation i can only sit with them if they want to compromise in terms of not seeing me as an enemy oh. if they are willing to sit with me and see as me a as brother. a brother then you and can... see me as one of them then we can have us uh, we can have a conversation mm. but as long as they, they think i want to take everything from them then how what conversation do we have it won't be it productive, won't, it won't be productive. Yeah. so for me uh i have mm. absolutely no regret in yes. terms of uh, apart from that we were not in good terms mm. i feel bad about it but i really don't have any regret mm. because i'd overgrown that yeah. i was happy you know when when you have gone through so much in life and you were able to cope with it yes. for me i'm able to cope with my father's death yeah. easier it's easier for me yeah. but for them is not because yeah. they were de- they were depending on him yeah. for me i've learned to depend on on, on, on myself and trusting in god mm. and it's not that god is not there for them yeah. they will gu- god will guide them mm. but um, they have just to learn the mm. process it's a process it's a process yeah it's a process this man who took your dad's life yeah Fred, right? Yes. What would you want him to know wherever he is? Uh there's nothing I don't I don't want to tell him anything because one is a murderer, is a criminal 
And for me, I wouldn't want even to have a conversation with a criminal. He belongs to the behind the bars. Mm. And justice for my father, I, you know, he butchered my father. My father blood oozed the whole day when the villagers told me that there was no blood in his in his body. You know, the pain. And my father, mark you, my father did not die instantly. Yeah. So he, he struggled. He struggled for about for almost an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. So, and when Osborne came and uh, he said, Osborne medungwa itana. Okay, and Aki uh, Saile Alenda Kuitana. Remember, Mark, you, there's a notation they are giving wrong. Everyone was watching Ruto's inauguration on their TV. Yes. So, everybody was glued to their TV. Yeah. So, and it was not possible probably to know what's going around yeah. because everybody is in their home watching what's yes. going on. Yeah. And uh, although the neighbors say they heard like a, a, cry, a, a cry, but you know, the little cry may be you think someone is joking or playing around. And uh, and so I wouldn't want to to really blame the villagers, and for me I wouldn't even want to tell the criminal anything. Mm -hmm. I just want justice for my father. Mm -hmm. I want him behind the bars. Mm -hmm. I want the truth to be known. Mm -hmm. I want to, all if their motives surrounding my father's death mm -hmm. uh, to be analyzed. Those with analytical mm -hmm. views to be analyzed, and we know behind because there are so many. There are so many questions that are behind my. Mm -hmm. I don't want to implicate anyone in but it. You in have it. questions. I have questions. I have mm. so many unanswered questions. And it's okay to have questions, it, yes. you know? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, mm. I have and so many unanswered mm. questions. And the motives and issues underlying my father's death, mm. it's not normal. Mm. It's not normal. It's not. It's not normal. It's not. Because again, my father, from what I've learned from the villagers, he would see people and run away. You saw our homestead, mm. you saw the gate. Yes. He used to stand there by the gate. Every, if you see someone he knows, you run away, you go back. So my father oh, had become this in his own cocoon, you know, with a drone from everyone. Yeah. So there are things, we, I don't want to say anything, but, but there are questions, why would my father behave that way? Why was he, again, if you look at his health, look at his faith, and if you try to look at correlation between the man who built that house and his health, how his face looked like and all that, there are so many question marks that are, add, are not adding up. Mm. This man looks like he has everything. He doesn't look happy. It's funny. He doesn't look happy. Mm. So, and that's my interpretation. Someone else has right to interpret it differently. Yeah. Mm. So this is my interpretation. When I look at my dad, he was not a happy man. Mm. So... Why was he behaving the way neighbors are saying he was behaving? He would run away. He wouldn't want to talk to anyone. So all these are the questions. Why would he be just want to be with himself and with his family? Mm. Mark you, even his siblings, he doesn't want to talk to them. He only spoke to one. Most of the others, he wouldn't talk to them. Mm. Why would you want not want to call, talk to your Old siblings? People. Your villagers, your immediate neighbors. And it's there on the video, on mm. my Ima's in, mm. in video, saying that the neighbor don't like them. So these are the questions that are, that are not adding up to me. And, and I hope we get the answers. I get, I get the answers. Because you are worth of the answers yes, that you are yeah. looking. And Lynn, yeah. the viewer should really uh, not uh, misunderstand me. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. I'm just putting questions out there. Yes. Why were all this happening? Mm. During the immigration, another question, why would you leave your husband and not take him with you to the immigration? Mm. You're leaving. Maybe. Yeah. Again, those are the those questions. Are questions. Those are questions. I'm not saying implicating anyone. Yes. Why would you why would you uh, sell the, the, the kettle? Why would you go to land register and put restriction mm. after the burial of my father? Mm -hmm. All those are the questions I'm mm. asking. Oh, why would you not want to talk to why would you create an enmity? Why would you not want to talk to your a husband's son, older son, and have a conversation with him. Why all this? I hope why, why? why yes. would you hide a yeah. ve the vehicle my father bought during the... Maybe they are scared you guys will take it away. Why would you take the car away? Let me ask you. I came, I had a car, and the car was doing the errands. Yes. Why, why was the car not being used for the burial purpose? Mm. Why was the car in her name? Mm. All these are questions I'm asking myself that are not adding up. And... I wish I could have one one on one conversation with her and ask her those questions. And I hope that day comes when you because guys can I really just want, sit. I really want to confront her 
and ask her, why did you create and perpetuate hatred between me and my father? Why could you not create a reconciliation tone between me and my father if you are a good wife? Why did you make sure that I never went to school and my father could, was able to take me to school? All those are questions. All those were questions. Why are you now trying to create hatred? Because I'm sure these, these two girls, they are too young. There's someone behind them who are telling her, them what to do. Why would you try to create an animosity between me and them? They are my sisters. They are my blood. So it, it's not right. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I hope, as I said, I really do hope you get yeah. answers yes. to those, uh, those questions. Yes. But above all, I just want to thank you yeah. for just coming yeah. and setting the record straight. Yes. Another person would have chosen not to. Yeah, I but really I don't it. also take your contribution yes. uh, to this matter for granted. Yes. I appreciate you. Thank you so the much. The way I appreciate you are our fa sisters yeah. for also coming out yeah. and you know just sharing their part yes. of the story. Yeah. And we also have to accord you the same respect you because so you are worth yeah. People are worth hearing your side of the story yes, yes. too. I want to wind up uh, before so I do another call for justice for your dad. <laughs> yes. Is there anything else you would like to add? And also as you go back to SA, yes. all the very best. I hope once we come there, yes. we can you can be able to show us around <laughs> yes, as we try to feature the stories of people yeah. who are doing incredible work yes. in SA. Yeah, okay. So anything else you would like to add? Uh, just for the viewers, yes. the followers. Eh? Yeah. Please, and also the YouTubers, the owners yeah. of the channels, uh, please, before you judge and you write a comment, please, please, I really beg you, think twice. Most of when there are issues that uh, can create uh, uh, enmity and there are issues with murder, mm. please think before it. Mm. In the other channels, I was, I was, I've been implicated so much uh, with my father's death. So please, you have listened to my story. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you what to write. Yeah. You have you have a right to write whatever mm. you write. But next time, also the, the owners of the YouTube, yeah. please try to mute those people who are mm. negative. Mm. I don't think everyone re needs justice. Mm. If, um, if I have a hand in my father's death, I need to face the law. That's, that's why I believe. Mm. So not unless you can prove beyond reason and doubt that, that I was involved, involved in my father's death when yeah. I'm, I'm in Cape Town. Mm. They are you know, their call logs, their WhatsApp, their in there are ways to prove that. Mm. Please provide that. But yes. don't don't just go there and say, Mary, no, your half brother he was involved in your father's mm. death mm. just because I'm seeking my my inheritance. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that is fair. That's so please fair. I would really request everyone out there when you comment, comment respectfully. Yeah. With all not only with this show, mm. with other shows yes. and with other YouTubers. Yeah. Don't judge someone just don't because judge. they they're out there trying to get justice. Yes. And also, I've realized that we have a problem with the boy child yeah. in this country. <laughs> There's a problem with the boy child. <laughs> All right, now tell me. <laughs> no, yes. no, I'm just saying, yeah. from what I've seen, um, yeah, as long as it's a, it's a man who is trying to seek justice, he, he's seen as if he's trying to force things out. But when it's a woman, there's a lot of sympathy going on. And because of the law succession is equal, equitable, mm -hmm. it's equal to everyone. Mm -hmm. I think everyone, as I, right now in Kenya, a lady is able to, sh to inherit his father. Yes. So he's a man. So let's, let's be equal. Let's, let's have equality. Let's create affairs, please. Let, yes. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, Peter, yeah. once again for coming. Yes. You know, in life we say you get to learn every day. Yes. It's a learning process. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And, you know, for me, I, I owe allegiance to my audience. And I always like to make sure that whatever I put out there for them huh, yes. is something I can vouch for even for myself. Huh? Yes, yes. And that's why even sitting with you was really important. Huh? Yes. And having this conversation with you also yeah. was really important. Yeah. But allow me to go back to why I, I, I involved myself yeah. in this story. Yeah. And guys, this is the photo of uh, Paul Njuguna. Yeah, this is uh, Peter's dad, Shiko's dad, Yvonne's dad, and your sister, Jerusha. Yes. Yes, yes. I love that name. <laughs> I love that name, Jerusha. Yeah. And your sister, uh, Jerusha, yeah. he's also 
also a husband and an ex-husband to your mom and to Shiko's mama. And I just want to say, guys, the reason I honestly got involved in this story is because I don't believe, I don't believe at all, at all, anyone's life needs to end this way. So I'm also really happy that we got to hear Peter's side of the story. And as I say, what wangu me now I've done my due diligence. I've brought you the story 360 and now it's upon you. But he mentioned something important. Huh? Let's be kind on the comment section because half of the time we all don't know the truth. And it's very important for us to practice a bit of empathy and a bit of kindness on the comment section. You know why we are here in the first place? So guys, let's not keep quiet until this man whose face is showing here on the screen is a founder. Continue shouting, continue saying justice for Paul Njuguna until this man here can be caught. I think I've done my best, my people, so I can only hope that everyone that is involved in this show finds it in their heart to see it and have a very diplomatic conversation at the end of the day a dad is gone a husband is gone the people who are remaining i hope they can come together zero judgment zone safe space and they are able to have a conversation moving forward on how they want their dad's legacy or how they want their dad to be remembered. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys again on Tuesday, 10 a.m. for another incredible episode of the Lean Googie Show. Have an amazing weekend. And as I always say, if you want to share my sto your story with me, my email is right there on the comment section. And to thank everyone that is involved in making sure this um, this programs come your way our legendary camera person and director edwin ocheng thank you so much for everything you do on the show and our incredible sam for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you right on time we would not have done this without your amazing editorial skills till next time have an amazing weekend be kind everyone is going through things you have no idea of be kind bye bye